Hello, everybody. My name is Devon Drummer. I'm an organizer at Teamwork Inglewood. I have a partner in crime, uh, Kathy Pickett, who is the uh, deputy, a deputy commissioner. I'm a deputy commissioner. With uh, the Department of uh, Planning and Development. So Oops. this is her first time in 1871. Yes, it is. So yes. give her a hand for coming out. <laughs> keep, keep going back. Yeah, just pause it. Yeah, that's where we're going to start. All right. So just for some context, uh, well, Pablo told me to do slides, but I've been really busy, so <laughs> I'm just going to have photos. If we can make these like full screen, uh, we'll be okay. Uh, so I work at Teamwork Inglewood. Uh, we share office space in a bank building, and uh, every day I go to work, I look out my window, and I see this 14, 13, 14 acre vacant lot. Um, and that's where I'm going to start. Uh, this was not always this way, and Kathy's going to talk about this whole idea of what Green Healthy Neighborhoods is and how that gave rise to the Large Lots program. Okay, so actually working with CMAP, we um, about three years ago um, started a land use strategy for what we call Greater Inglewood, which is the community areas of Inglewood, West Inglewood, Washington Park, Woodlawn, a little bit of Grand Crossing, and the southern half of New City. And basically it's a landscape that um, used to have somewhere around 300,000 people and they've lost half that population in the last 60 years. So what we're doing is looking at what do we do with all that land? How do you manage that land? How do you take the chaos out of that landscape? <coughs> we came up with that. We looked at everything, retail, uh, urban agriculture, manufacturing, historic resources. And when we looked at the residential, like everyone's looking at housing, um, pretty much there's enough housing in that neighborhood to accommodate the increased population, uh, increased household size till the year 2040. So, there is enough housing to rehab to, to accommodate that population. So we don't need to build a lot of new housing. Although Inglewood, that area has a lot of blocks of residential housing. So we came up with this very simple idea, large lots, which is to um, you know, sell the land cheaper than we already do to the adjacent neighbors. When we took it to the community about a year ago and we had a public open house, we asked them, well, you know, you want to get this land for a dollar. First, the concerns were, well, they wanted it for the neighbors. They didn't want it opened up to the whole community. And then they started drawing uh, areas of, we're like, well, we don't have, how are we going to go out to the community? Because we were working with um, a lot of organizations, and their mom talked about that, but a number of groups, like, they outlined blocks where they would want to go to their neighbors and talk to them about it. So from that started a whole bunch of meetings with the community to design the program, which the community really did. They wanted they open it up only to people who own land on the block and they can buy up to two lots for a dollar each. So we started going out um, to different meetings that demand group and other people and just started explaining it. Um, and then we the mayor announced the program a couple weeks ago and we have an application process, which is notoriously gonna be hard to find on the city's website or trying to go we we posted our information and then a couple days ago. Uh, Jeannie was working with on that showed this large last thing that you guys did. It was like, this is great. I mean, we we would never get around or have anybody to just do what you guys did. So we were just so excited. Thank you. And you put that out there. So 